Citizenship by investment is becoming a major revenue earner for St. Lucia, but it is also one of the most misunderstood economic sectors. And the controversy brewed by the racketeering and corruption case brought by MSR's Felipe Martinez has only muddied the waters more. This week, Investment Minister Dr. Ernest Hiller came out punching with an address to the Chamber of Commerce that criticized both Felipe Martinez and St. Lucia's main opposition for damaging the country's reputation. And aside from the political punches, Dr. Hiller took a moment to try to explain how CIP really works. An applicant who applies to the unit will undergo the following processes. One, a complete documentation verification check to establish authenticity and validity of their documents. Second, a due diligence check by the bank which is processing their financial transactions, starting with their application and due diligence fees. Thirdly, a thorough due diligence check by a licensed agency. Fourthly, a law enforcement review. Fifth, an intelligence review by the GRCC based in Trinidad. Sixth, a financial review by the Financial Intelligence Unit. After all of that, seven, the unit then re reviews all reports and if satisfactory, forwards to the board for final review and approval. The applicant, if approved, is then asked to provide the minimum investment amount. And when done, a certificate of registration of citizenship is signed by the minister. It is important that you remember that the applicant pays the minimum investment amount at the satisfactory completion of the entire process that I outlined. Dr. Hillay insisted that Sinusha CIP was founded on strong due diligence and much has been done to strengthen that aspect since 2021. After reviewing the industry landscape in 2015, St. Lucia was of the view that any program must be built on a robust and rigid due diligence foundation. It is for that reason that we built a due diligence capability which is fit for purpose. I am also pleased that since July 2021, St. Lucia has taken further steps to strengthen its capabilities, including a bank financial review and the FIU review. Sometimes we are criticized for taking too long for approvals, but we are convinced that we must do so. Whatever we, ca we must do whatever we can to ensure that our approvals are based on the most rigorous examination. Dr. Hillay also announced that there will soon be an international firm charged with undertaking an audit of the CIP unit in St. Lucia, and that while Felipe Martinez has threatened to add him to the racketeering and corruption case, he, Hilaire, will not have the smile wiped off his face because he has done his due diligence and has seen the successes of CIP. For Choice News Now, I am Jason Seaflay.